Hi Virgo and a happy new year to you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for joining me. I am Raphael from Radiant Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you so, so much for all of your continued support. If you haven't already, please don't forget to like, share and hit that subscribe button. If you would like to book a personal tarot reading with me, you can do so on the website address in the description box below. Uh, before we start, I would like to bless all of my cards with all forms of love, like peace, prosperity and abundance and I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise and they help you on your path to your highest vibrational good. So let's see what the month ahead has in store for you. Happy New Year to you. Not only did we survive 2018 but we are here to thrive in 2019 and I really hope all of the best comes up for you. So uh, with that said, let's see what your actions and your interactions have in store for you this month. So you've got the Four of Swords. Uh, you are taking your time Virgo. And this isn't about taking your time to painstakingly work on things as you usually do. This is about taking your time for yourself. This is about you honouring your space. This is about you honouring the space that you find yourself within, whether that's your internal space or your physical environment. You know, your actions and your interactions is what you do. And the Four of Swords is about taking rest. And this feels to me like for the first time in a very long time, actually, and I would wager probably the last 18 months, if I'm looking at, you know, Virgo as, as the months are talking about it, I feel like January you go into the year like you know what I know I'm good at what I do I know I work hard I know I'm diligent in everything that I put my mind to so this year I'm going to take my time and this isn't about taking time to do things right for everybody else it's about taking the time to look after myself to nurture and nourish myself and I really love this for you and it's really nice to see this because you know I talked about this a little while back um, in uh, you know in 2018 and one of the things that people really overlook about Virgos is they are are marvelously kind like really marvelously kind people yes they're really hard working yes they can split hairs and sometimes you just want to throttle them because they're so anal about their details but they really are as as detail orientated as a Virgo is is as kind as their heart is and so to see you finally taking some time out and some rest for yourself is absolutely perfect and it's in total alignment I believe of where you should be for yourself love 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 that um, and I think you know to be honest I believe it will make you better for everybody else you know, because you're you're giving yourself that time, that space to really, you know, effectively look after and pamper yourself for a change, which is great. So your money and your materials this month. Wow, you've got the magician card. I love this. Because it basically says that in terms of your physical health, by taking time out to look after yourself, to nurture and nourish yourself, your health will dramatically improve in January. I almost feel like this is the point. It's, you know, it's almost like there's an intuitive part of you, especially with the magician involved, there's some intuitive part of you that's like, actually, you know what? Now's the time to take a moment. Now's the time to, to get a little bit more self-focused, a little bit more self-centered. And by doing so, you will see some magical results. You will see some very quick results. That's not a cue to then jump into the arena of going on to help everybody else again. Um, you know, take these results and let them, assim you know, and assimilate them into your, your daily life. Uh, you know, in terms of your money and your materials, you know, your wealth aspect, your abundance, the magician card basically says, what do you want? want because I get you know the magician card is the magic wand if you could wave a wand and say to yourself right in six months time I want to have paid off my car that's possible this year you've got to initiate it in January you've got to put the intention there you've got to put the plan in place and I mean really who's going to plan better than you guys right Okay, come on. So, um, you know, I love this for you because it basically says in terms of your money and your materials, what do you want? The, the magician card is effectively in, an, in another way, it's a wish card. In difference to say like the ace of cups or the nine of cups, which is the wish fulfillment, the, the magician card is what do you want? You know, put it out there. This is a card of amazing manifestation, but it's also a card of truly communicating. And the fact that this falls in your money and materials, this for me is about you communicating with the world at large, but it's also about you communicating with the universe and saying, this is what I want, this is what I want to create in my life. 
whatever your wealth, abundance or material goals are, set your intentions this month because you will have a powerful release and a powerful alignment. I really love this for you guys um, because it, it speaks volumes of what you'll be able to achieve over the course of this year and it all starts here in January. Um, so your communications with the world at large, let's have a look. And this month you get the uh, King of Pentacles, success, abundance. This is about you communicating what you expect and who you truly are. And you know, the interesting thing is the King of, uh, King of Pentacles can be an earth sign male, uh, Taurus, a Capricorn or a Virgo you guys right uh, even if you're a male or female this can show up for you because you know because of how we all are we've all got dual aspects of self when the the court cards show up as an archetype of self this is talking very much about some part of yourself that's trying to come through the king of pentacles is slow steady dependable hard working will see things through to the end goal sometimes probably take a little too much time getting there my uncle's a virgo and i love him to bits but there are times where i'm like please can we just get to the end of it now <laughs> uh, you know but he's so thorough and he gets things done and he gets them done properly and he's got a really brilliant mind for numbers which is you know there you go uh, so so the fact that this falls in your communications right next to the master communicator of the magician card this to me is very much i feel like you're going to be aligning yourselves with, with someone this month i feel like virgos are going to come into um it's almost like a, a link or a connection with somebody that's really going to help them further their own goals i kind of feel like this could possibly for some of you this is about a promotion for some of you this is about being given more responsibility but the fact that this, this is the king of pentacles and you've had these two cards come up previously this is about you being in control of it this is about you really getting to choose and really getting to decide and because you're taking this more laid back approach and understanding that in order to manifest things i don't always have to be here at the grindstone i can actually sit back and kind of steer it from the back uh, the king of pentacles is basically saying your communication style is really getting to people um, you know and not getting to them like niggling them like you're really making strides with how you communicate with people because they're hearing and taking on board everything that you say which for you guys is really important not because you're a know-it-all or because you feel like you've got all the answers it's because you tend to take a lot of time to think about ways that people People can do things better so that they can have an easier life and this goes back to this kindness that is innate in all of you your communications look really strong this month your communications look really powerful and it feels to me like a lot of you are having conversations with somebody that is either very spiritual or somebody that is very learned you know somebody that's got a lot of qualifications or somebody that has a real gift for what they do a real knack for what they do and from these conversations I feel like you're gonna build um, a mutually beneficial relationship with somebody I believe this will be professional in nature professional or academic I don't think it's gonna be you know like on a personal love sort of connection but um, I feel like it's a really good connection nonetheless and I also feel very much that like I said you are being received in the best way this month you're really being taken on board and the other thing as well is uh, the magician card represents mercury so that's like your planet, you know, going on in your money and your material sector as well, giving you the power of communication. An archetype of your own success and your own self comes up in your communications. This is about the world really paying attention to you finally, um, you know, and for all the right reasons, not that they didn't before, but you, you kind of catch my drift, right? So in your personal relationships, let's have a look. You've got the chariot card beautiful absolutely beautiful so the chariot card brings you some some water to kind of balance this out at the moment so the only thing really that's missing here in terms of your elemental associations is fire but uh, for those of you that are single this looks like again you know i think cancer got this as well you're very much focused on your own success it's not that you're not open to a relationship it's not that you're not open to love it's more just a case of you know what I want to focus on on the things that are ahead of me a little bit more and I want it to, I want to enjoy myself so I feel like for those of you that are single Virgos you'll be having a lot of personal enjoyment whether it's fun flirtation whether it's a tryst or two or possibly three uh, you know because the the chariot card suggests that it's quick so these are things that will be fleeting I don't necessarily feel like there's somebody coming in that will be cemented um, you know for some of you there could be work flings going on because you've got the king of pentacles there as well well um 
the only reason I would err on the side of caution with anything in terms of a work fling is because it will be over just as quickly as it starts. So it will be short, sharp, hot and fast, um, but it won't necessarily last for a long time. So you need to kind of temper that with some, you know, common sense, which you guys have in bloody mountains. Um, for those of you that are partnered, the chariot card basically says that this month's going to be a successful, a successful month for your relationship. It's going to be, there's going to be some kind of victory in your relationship. It's almost like there's going to be a goal that's reached for both of you. So whether that's you've been looking for a house to move to, whether it's, you know, you decided that actually you want to do things differently this year. It's kind of like you put in place and you achieve something that you set out to achieve quite some time ago um, and I really like that for you guys it's great um, you know in terms of familial relationships as well it kind of suggests that there's going to be lots of quick interaction this month I feel like it's going to be quite dynamic but you will be seeking to take it easy you will be seeking to take your time with things and I really like that it's actually a good thing so the first week of January you've got the Empress card this is beautiful because it really does mean that not only are you taking your time with the four of swords there but you are seeking out places that will restore and refresh you you are looking to go to places you know out in nature for some of you this is about taking trips it's about taking a weekend break somewhere that you can just go and restore and recharge and do some much needed sort of over your thoughts but in a place of real beauty for a lot of you as well this is about going to get a massage it's about going to get some pampering you know get some real personal self-love and self-care time in and I really like this for you I really do because I feel like by doing that it's going to set you up for all of the best that you can achieve and create um, and I really love that for you second week of January so you have to forgive the light uh, you've got the Hierophant card. So the Hierophant card is a bit more back to, you know, a bit more back to business because you're then starting to not necessarily implement things, but you are certainly starting to think about how you can make tangible results now. Uh, you've got the Magician card there and you've got the Hierophant here. Uh, you know, for a lot of you, this is about the realisation that you can take something a lot bigger and a lot broader than you imagined. And that actually, uh, you know, for a lot of you, I feel like there's either a qualification here or working with some kind of of governing body there's a lot of paperwork taking place in the second week of January for a lot of you um, and a lot of it seems to be like official paperwork I kind of feel if you want a loan if you want um, you know a mortgage or anything like that the second week of January is going to be a really powerful week for you to start looking at that stuff um, you know anything that you want to do or you want to get or you want to gain second week of January you could make something really pretty special happen um, and you could get approval uh, you know for for what it is that you're asking for the third week of january you've got the temperance card so again this is about backing things up on a spiritual level uh you know it also feels like these are this is going to be the week especially the third week of january will be where you're having the conversations um very much about what is um uh, third week of January is about that you know like I said there'll be somebody coming in that's either very learned or very spiritual or possibly even both um, and I feel like this this third week of January especially with the temperance card you're finding ways to balance that out how do I balance my self-care and my self needs with the needs of others with the needs of my job with the needs of my partner and my boss and my family whatever this is about you finding a way to do it all and to do it all properly and to do it all well because ultimately that's what you guys always strive for right but I kind of feel like where up until now you haven't really it's almost like going forward especially the third week of January you're factoring in your own well-being into all of your plans and that is a really powerful place to be in because it means you're not only ready to co-create but you're also ready to do things in the in a properly balanced way um, you know I also feel like there'll be a lot of personal spiritual insights in in the, the third of um, in the third week of January and it looks like some of you are going to an energy worker because you've got the king of pentacles next to the magician but also um, the temperance card underneath and that feels to me like a lot of you are either going to an energy worker some of you could possibly even be going for a tarot reading for um, but it's it's things that are more sort of esoteric uh, you know, it doesn't necessarily feel like astrology, to be honest. It feels more like, you know, like I said, it would be about energy work, spiritual work, possibly tarot reading, um, things of that kind of nature. 
And then finally, the fourth uh, week of January, you've got the Magician card again. So you've got a double hit of this Magician card energy, uh, you know, which it suggests there's a lot of spirituality taking place. There's a lot of correct communication. There's a lot of comfort conversations happening of a spiritual nature, uh, conversations happening that really start to help you understand that by taking care of yourself, you're taking care of the world. By taking care of the world, you're taking care of the universe. There's this real sort of dichotomy Dichotomy happening this uh, this year, this this month, um, and you know I talked about the magician card being the the magic wand. This is about asking you, what do you want? You know, and in the fourth week of January, there's going to be a beautiful um, specific event in the astrology, which I'll be talking about then. You know, especially in the fourth week of January, this looks absolutely beautiful. Use it wisely and use it well, and it's a second um, hit of that mercurial energy. So lovely. Um, and then finally, what is your key to the month? Your key to the month is the world card. So you are leveling up, you are mastering up, you are effectively, it's interesting because the words that I'm hearing now in my mind are you've already mastered everything else, so why not master yourself? And that's a perfect way to kind of finish this off. You know, you've got everything that you need. I think, yeah, temperance finally, because it's linked to Sagittarius, bought you the fire that you needed. And that now balances out all of the elements here for you. Um, with the world card being your key to the month, yeah, you've mastered everything else. Now it's time to master yourself. And the way that you're gonna do that is through kindness and self-care and self-preservation and ultimately self-pampering. Um, I really love this for you. I think it's gonna be a great month. Let me know how it shakes up for you in the comments. I wish you an abundance of all of that good stuff. Have a great month and I'll see you very soon for more videos. Take care.